So you saw that thumbnail and this is what you guys are here for. So in this video, I'm going to be helping you guys think a little bit more like an entrepreneur. How's it going guys? My name is Andre and in this video, like I said earlier before, I'm going to help you guys reignite that brain and kindle that magic way of thinking like an entrepreneur and just getting the best out of your capabilities. So I'm not even going to waste any time. I'm going to get right into it. But first, why should you guys be listening to me? Well, I am 20 years old. I run my own small little company and I am a freelancer. I turned all of my hobbies into cash and I want to help you guys do the exact same thing. So if you want to learn how to do that, stick around, maybe even hit that subscribe button. So first things first, I want you guys to understand a few things. This right here, right here, this is your comfort zone. Okay. And right here, that's where the magic happens. So for you guys to become successful entrepreneurs, you need to understand that you need to get out of your comfort zone. That is first and foremost. That's not even one of the tips that I have for you. That's just some uh, basic entrepreneurship knowledge. Another thing that there's a curve to being an entrepreneur, right? Nice little curve. So at the very beginning, you have an idea, you're super passionate about it, but you are an uninformed optimist. What that means is you're super positive, you think it's gonna make you money, you think it's gonna change your lifestyle, but you don't know a lot about that industry, a lot about that specific niche. As time goes on, you become an informed pessimist. So what that means is you are down at the bottom of the curve. You know more about the industry, you know how difficult it is to get into it, all the steps that it requires for you to become profitable, and you kind of get down on yourself. Once you get past the bottom part, if you can actually go up that incline, go up the hill, you become an informed optimist. So now that you know even more about it, you're still super optimistic about the opportunity and you choose to pursue it. That is the level that we all want to get at so we know how to manage things and push forward. So now I'm going to tell you the first uh, steps that are required for your mindset for you guys to become successful entrepreneurs. At number one, um, it's being passionate. Whatever you choose to do, you really need to be passionate about it and it needs to uh, fill a desire and meet your heart's content in order for you to become successful. If you're not passionate about what you're doing, then it's not necessarily gonna, going to work out because even though while you're pursuing this, you might be thinking about other ventures, which isn't really ideal because you're not all in in this one idea. Number two, becoming an expert. This is really hard. Uh, something that I personally struggled with because there's so many hobbies that I have that I enjoyed and I want to pursue into a career. So really make sure you nail down a specific niche. So uh, for myself, I started out in photography and I focused on photography and I'm still learning, always wanting to get better. There's nothing wrong with diversifying and like learning more things like a little bit of video if that's what you're kind of into. But make sure you are an expert in your field and you can help others as well. So when you talk to clients, you sound professional, very, very prompt, and just, you know what you're talking about, right? You know what you're doing. The third way uh, for you guys to really think uh, more like an entrepreneur is uh, having multiple ways of making money. So I'm gonna stick with the personal example of being a photographer. You need to have multiple sources of income. So I'm not saying um, just wedding shoots or portrait shoots, I'm talking about uh, you can have a photography business where you're just taking photos for people. You can also do stock photography and then you can maybe set up a website of prints where you just go uh, do some shoots for fun and then people can print your artwork and purchase that. So those are three ways that you can make money with photography if that's something that you are after. Number four, being action oriented is super, super important because if you have all these dreams, these hopes, these ideas that you want to put into action. If you don't actually go out there and do it, it will never materialize. If you want to be a photographer, if you want to own your own business, if you want to, whatever you want to do in life, whatever you want to achieve. This goes on for just a basic life hack, life goal, I suppose. If you don't want it bad enough, you're not going to go out and do it. And if you really want it bad enough, this might be the one most crucial thing that will hold you back. Going out there and doing it, giving a damn about what other people think. And that's just not how it works anymore. Go out there and do it, get it done, and you, you won't regret it at all. You won't regret it because even if something doesn't go right, it will still be a life experience, a life lesson, and you can grow as a person. So being an entrepreneur is uh, very heavily focused on relationships and building a network and having those connections. 
go out there, meet people, network, talk to people, develop a community surrounding yourself. Uh, those people will also endorse you later on. They'll help you bring more clients. And it's just a very good way about going if you are an entrepreneur, just anyone who's an industry professional at all. It is crucial that you uh, really focus on those relationships. You go with people for coffee. You don't need to oversaturate certain meetings with certain people, but like, you know, reach out once a month, send the email, see how people are doing. When it's Christmas time, uh, send out a holiday message, just something basic. Uh, focus on those relationships and more clients will come your way. I promise you that. The sixth tip I have for you guys on how to think more like entrepreneurs is being really, really, really persistent. Um, the way I approach this is uh, the business cards that I made for myself is I use this as a form of adver advertisement and I went to trade shows in my city here and I handed them out to everyone. And even if I've seen them before at previous trade shows, I would keep handing them my business card, telling them about my services and being persistent is crucial because that's part of that desire. If you're not persistent, then you're not action oriented and you don't really want it that bad if you're not out there doing it. You go out there and do it, this kind of goes hand in hand, but being really persistent, telling people what you're about, and you know, if you have a potential lead, be persistent, focus on that and get that client, make that client yours, and then expand your network. All of these tips build hand in hand, go hand in hand, one with another, and I promise that in the end, it will all work out for you. The seventh tip that I have for you guys is be easy to find. Um, this is where I'm going to plug myself. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and on Instagram at Andre underscore Roman. Also on LinkedIn, uh, being a business professional, a business owner, small business uh, CEO type of thing, you really need to be able to uh, be found. If people want to know about you, if you handed them a card, they need to be able to find more of your work, portfolios, whatever you are doing, you need to be easily accessible through social media, which is something that's free right now and you don't need to worry about that. Like it's super simple, it's super easy, get it done. Bear with me guys, I am almost done. Um, once you are easy to find, I want you guys to be known. Be known, tell people what you do. Um, when you go to family functions, family gatherings, you know, people don't think of me as Andre anymore. They think of that guy, uh, the entrepreneur, the business owner, the guy who does the creative stuff, the photography, the graphic design, the videos, the web design. That's what people think of me. So I am known. And if potential clients arrive, those relationships with family members can go on down the road and help me out even further. Now, this is not even one of the tips. This is just a motto that you should be living life by is wanting to make a difference. If you go there and you want to be an entrepreneur, every one of these big guys who have become millionaires, billionaires, want to make a difference in some sort of way. You might be in an industry that's already saturated, but that can be um, a model that you stand by, something that can give you that competitive advantage by you uh, wanting to make a difference and sharing with people that difference that you want to make. So if you want to provide uh, better customer care, that's what you should be trying to achieve because you know that in your industry, that difference is not really there and that's what you are trying to achieve. That's a goal that comes along with your entrepreneurship skills. So I hope you guys achieved something from this video on how to think like an entrepreneur. Let me know down below how you guys think. If you are entrepreneurs, what you wanna achieve, let me know down in the comments below, your goals as well. And if you enjoyed this video and wanna know more, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe button. Follow me on my social media and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.